Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Animal Crossing Collector's Box. If you have never heard of this box, it is a officially licensed little merchandise box with exclusive items, seven exclusive items within this box. It retails for $29.99 and you can buy it off of Amazon and at Target. I got mine at Target because I was impatient and I just wanted to open it and get it, but I will also have a link to the Amazon listing where you can buy it in my description if you would like to buy it off of Amazon instead. I would recommend buying it off Amazon or at least checking out the Amazon listing because at least right now while I'm recording this it is on sale for $25 instead of $30 so it can go on sale on Amazon. I don't know if Target would ever put it on sale but yeah I would definitely recommend Amazon over Target unless you want it really quick like I did. <laughs> so as you can tell or as you could maybe not tell because I I'm absolutely struggling to open this thing. This is designed just like the orders that you get when you order from the Nook Stop in Animal Crossing. So you get those little packages in your mailbox and yeah, it's shaped exactly like that. It's got the little fake tape and it's got the Nook Leaf on one side and then the other side just has the Animal Crossing logo. Very, very cute, nice and simple. And before we get into the true unboxing part, I did have to go to two Targets to find this box and they did have some other cool Animal Crossing merch at Target and I just wanted to show you. Uh, some of it's out of focus, I'm sorry, I don't know how to work a camera, but yeah, they had that cute water bottle and they had this Animal Crossing like switch holder purse thing, which I did end up buying. It does have straps so you can wear it like as a normal purse and it fits literally your whole switch in there. It was so cool and I don't know how to work a camera, that's- yeah. Okay, <laughs> at least you got to see a glimpse of my outfit, which was super cute that day. And they had like Tom Nook pillows, very adorable. Was kind of tempted to get a pillow, but I was already blowing so much money because they had this Isabel one too, and I wanted her so bad. But yeah, just to let you know that these items also exist, there's also a Tom Nook plushie, which looks a little interesting. Not my style, but he's there. And some socks. So yeah, they have some cool stuff at Target, but now back to the unboxing and for this portion you'll hear my actual reaction when I was unboxing it. Oh my god! This is so cute! It even has divider tabs? Okay, hold on. I have to open this. This is so freaking cute! Okay, I'm gonna take off the little thing. It's a journal and it has these little tabs with the fruit! Oh, what? Oh, and then like inside like the divider, each divider is the fruit. So there's the orange one. How freaking adorable is that? And it's a, uh, it's lined paper. That's the front cover. And then like the inside has the cute little nook leaf patterns. This is adorable! Oh my goodness! The next I see the sticky notes which are turnips! How adorable is that? Okay, I'm gonna- I'll, I'll open it up so we can get a look without the glare. Oh, this was so freaking worth it. That's really cute. This is really simple, but it's really, really cute. Little sticky notes. And then next I see the socks. Cozy socks, it says. Don't think that they're uncozy because they're cozy. It says it right here. Cozy. Um, they kind of just look like bananas, to be honest. I, I know they're supposed to be Isabel themed, I suppose, but there's no print on them or anything. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take some cozy socks. Thank you. Actually, I'm a big fat liar. They do have a little Isabel embroidery thing. It's just covered by the freaking cardboard thing. This is what it looks like. Don't listen to me. They're not banana socks. <laughs> they're Isabel socks. I promise they're good. Um, yeah, I just totally didn't see it and I didn't take off the cardboard yet. So yeah, I'm a liar. Just ignore me. Here is... Oh, the calendar. It's a little woodblock calendar. And I'll open it up. I can without oh I just completely tore it cool I'll just completely rip the box sure okay let's see take it out 
And it looks like that. Let's take it out of the plastic. Thank you, stabby stab. That's cute. Focus. It's really, really cute. And then you just um, change change the uh, the date and put these little blocks. And uh, you can also change the month. These little things have the months on them. Okay, I'm gonna have to do the YouTube beauty guru thing, sorry. It has the little months. Really cute, so let's set it to today, okay. What month are we in? November. You gotta put the other ones back. I honestly don't know the date. Is it the 7th? Um, let's just pretend it's the 7th. There we go. November 7th. <laughs> I'm gonna save the big boy for last. Let's do the squishy. Oh my goodness, okay. It's, oh, it's a stress ball, sorry. It's a stress ball. And uh, it's a little peach stress ball. I'm sure it looks like it's a stick, uh, squishy. Oh my goodness. This boy thick. This boy real thick. It's, yeah, that's, that's essentially a squishy. It feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie, this feels really, really nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Love that, that is just solid. And then I think I saw one more thing under here. This is all a little drawstring bag with a little nook leaf, very Tom Nook themed. Very, very cute, I love that. And then it just cinches closed like that. Not my ideal colors, but it's really cute. And it feels like, it feels like good material. It does really feel like a nice material, like it doesn't feel cheap, which is nice. And then the last boy, the last big daddy, first of all, oh, there's a hair on it. I hope that was my hair. <laughs> um, it has, this is a blanket and it has this little tag, which is actually adorable. And it just says official Nintendo and all that jazz. Um, I don't think this shows up on camera, but we'll see. Let me see if I can move everything out of the way. Alright. It is a ginormous bell bag. <laughs> um let me see if I can <laughs> let me see if I can zoom out. Okay, we can zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's um it's just a huge bell bag blanket. It actually for a blanket it's not that big. Let me see if I can show the little top of it. Yeah, for a blanket, it's really not that big. I could probably wrap it around my shoulders. Okay, but um, I'm a very small person, so. It's also, it's, it's very, very soft, but it's very, very thin. So it's kind of like just kind of what it is. It's like a little fun blanket to have. All in all, it's, I, it's, it's solid. It's nice, feel it, it's nice. Here are this week's fan art submissions. We've got some absolute gems, some absolute cuties. Look at all this amazing art. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for continuing to submit. I have 500 submissions right now, which is crazy. So thank you for your patience while I work through them. If you would like to submit your own art, there's a link down below. So there you go. There is everything in the Animal Crossing collector's box. And then here I'm just uh, putting everything down just to get a nice last final shot of everything together. But yeah, I was really, really happy with everything. I think this box is totally worth $30, like no question. And if you can get it on sale on Amazon, even better, like even better. And once again, I'll have that link down in my description if you want to get it off of Amazon. And um, yeah, I just, absolutely love everything like everything seems like nice good quality like effort was put into it very unique nothing feels cheap at all so i'm really really happy with every single item to be honest and the squishy i have to say the squishy is my favorite because i love pink and because it's also scented which is so nice so i always just like smell it and it smells really good and it has a very satisfying squish so even the squishy they cut no corners with this so yeah <laughs> The journal is also a huge hit for me because one, I love journals, and two, 
they put a lot of effort into this. They could have easily just slapped on that cover and be done with it and put the lined paper, but it's really cute. The inside, the little dividers, the lined pages, the little leaf details, like, ugh, just, you know, journal people, you, you get me, you understand. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand here, but I will have links below if you want to purchase this or add it to your Christmas wish list. It would be a great gift for any Animal Crossing lover. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's not my typical content that I put here on this channel, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless, and I will see you in the next one.